Welcome to the wonder of the seas. This is Jason here. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough ship tour. We're gonna take this tour deck by deck. You're gonna love it. This ship is humongous and has a ton of amenities and we're gonna go through each of the venues. Let's go ahead and get started on deck 15 is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough. If you look over to the right, those are the water slides. Right here is the solarium. All the way around the front of the ship on the other side is the beach pool. Then right after that is the lime and coconut bar, then the main pool. And then if we head all the way to the back of the ship, we're gonna go into the Windjammer Cafe. We're gonna go ahead and start the tour off right here at the Lido deck. This is the main pool area. The main pool area consists of two pools. However, they are divided by Central Park. It's really cool. If you look up, you're going to see a huge screen where they show concerts, movies under the stars, and special events. You can just pick either pool. They're I Identical. One cool thing that we really liked about the pools is that they have pool chairs where you can lie right at the bed of the pool. If you go up a deck, you can enjoy a couple of whirlpools. There are whirlpools on either side. So each pool has one. However, you do have to go up a deck. If you look down, you're going to see Central Park, which I said before divides the two pools. Right here is Sprinkles. If you'd like to grab a soft served ice cream, it's right here in the middle. Right around the corner is the lime and coconut bar. Let's make our way more up to the front. We're gonna take a look at the beach pool. If you look down, you can see Splash Away Bay. Right here is the beach pool. Directly on the other side is Splash Away Bay. And again, Central Park divides the beach pool and Splash Away Bay. The beach pool has another whirlpool, so it's a nice place to relax and hang out for a little bit. The beach pool also has those nice cool chairs that go all the way around. It's a nice place to hang out and lie in the sun. You can see the water slides from here, the Perfect Storm water slides. So this part of the ship is action packed because there's always somebody coming down those water slides. It's a perfect place to relax and hang out if you have kids that are gonna be playing in this area. Let's take a look at the Perfect Storm water slides. Slides. Look at that huge bowl. They're a lot of fun. You can go round and round and then you go right in that hole. On the other side of the ship, there are a couple of more water slides. You're gonna go up the same stairs to go on any of the slides. However, when you come out, you might be on a different side of the ship depending on which water slide you go down. This is Splash Away Bay. This is a kid's splash paradise. And there's something here for small children of all ages. There are medium slides, bigger slides, and then there are smaller slides. There's a huge bucket that dumps thousands of gallons on kids all day long. They love it. It's a lot of fun. The hard part is getting them to leave. A nice place to enjoy a cocktail is the view bar. It's right here on the side of the ship before you get to the solarium. Many ships don't have views from the side of the ship, so it's a really cool bar. Let's take a look at the solarium. The solarium is all the way at the front of the ship. It goes around the entire front and it spans a couple of decks. There's a bar right here in the middle. There are comfortable seats throughout the area. There are plenty of whirlpools and cool places to relax. Right here is a cool pool. It's all the way at the front and the center. You can either get there from the upper deck or you can come down the stairs here and enjoy the pool down here. You can grab one of these chairs. It's a really comfortable spot to hang out and relax in. You have views of the front of the ship. Over here is another whirlpool. This is a nice spot off the side of the ship where you can enjoy the view. This is the Solarium Bistro. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's buffet style. In the morning, I recommend coming here to have breakfast. Not a lot of people know that they have breakfast here, so there's usually not a lot of people. So it's a perfect place to relax and grab a coffee and enjoy your breakfast. Over here is the mason jar. The mason jar is more toward the back of the ship. This is a fun, friendly bar to grab a drink and enjoy some live music. You'll appreciate the farmhouse decor, the live country music, and even a porch complete with a swing. The mason jar will transport you back to the cozy south. Let's take a look at the Windjammer Marketplace. This is the buffet area. Here you're gonna find something for everyone. Specialty breads, salads, plenty of entrees. Keep in mind that the Wonder of the Seas is part of the Oasis class. 
Right now, there are five ships in that class. If you want to book any one of those ships, make sure you give me a call. You'll be so glad that you did, as what we do is amazing. We offer special savings. When you give us a call, we're going to price you out. We're going to give you all the promotions that the cruise line is offering you, but then we're going to give you one of our special rates. And we do this in many different ways. Our corporate office books sailings years in advance so a lot of times we're able to get you into our block space royal caribbean provides us with our own promotions and we're able to provide you with an exclusive agency promotion let's take a look at one of the most active spots on the ship the sports court it's all the way here in the back of the ship let me show you how you get there right here is the beach pool right past that is the main pool this is the whirlpool and then we're going to go right past the arcade then Loco Fresh, then Cantina Fresca, Wonder Dunes, all the way at the back here is the Ultimate Abyss, and then around the corner is the Flow Rider. Well, let's take a look at the arcade. Play some Pac-Man or maybe Space Invaders, get into a nice air hockey game, win some tickets and win some prizes. Keep in mind that you do not use money for these machines, you will use your key card. Let's take a look at El Loco Fresh. This is the Mexican restaurant. It's all the way here at the back. So it's right near the sports court. You can grab some tacos, quesadillas, or a burrito. Grab a drink here at Contina Fresco. It has a nice view of the sports court. Right here is the mini golf and it's exceptional. The entire area replicates an underwater world. Kids of all ages can discover an underwater themed world with slides, climbing walls, games, and puzzles. Right over here is the zip line. The zip line is exceptional. You're gonna zip line over the boardwalk. We're gonna tour the entire boardwalk here in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. To be able to participate and enjoy this area, you will need to sign a waiver, so make sure you take care of that first. The Ultimate Abyss is a dry slide that goes from the back of the ship all the way down to the boardwalk. It is amazing. You just jump in a sleeve and head on down. Let's take a look at the Flow Rider. It's right next to the Ultimate Abyss. It's the surf simulator. It's 40 foot long and runs 30,000 gallons of rushing water. This is the basketball court. It's a full court, but you can enjoy many different activities here, such as soccer, paddle ball, and dodgeball. I like this ping pong area. It's fully protected. Over here is Hooked. This is the seafood restaurant. If you're looking for the freshest seafood, come on in and try Hooked. You'll get a real taste of New England style seafood. It has really cool views of the solarium. Let's head more toward the back of the ship. We're gonna go up a deck. Let's take a look at the Coastal Kitchen. This area is exclusive for guests who are booked in suites or for Pinnacle members. So it pays to cruise with Royal. You get this restaurant all to yourself. Here you can enjoy influences from the Mediterranean with farm fresh flavors from California. Over here in the same area, you're gonna find the Sweet Lounge. It's a comfortable area where you can relax and hang out, plan your day. You can also enjoy appetizers, grab a coffee, something to drink. And then what I like to do is I like to grab a seat over at the window right here and look down on the boardwalk in the sports court. This is Social 100. It's a private place for teens. They offer an abundant range of fun activities and games. There's a comfortable lawn where they can relax and lie in the sun. They offer virgin cocktails and there's a really cool whirlpool right over here. The best thing is, is the view off the side of the ship. Let's head on up a deck. We're gonna take a look at the sweet sun deck. This is more toward the back of the ship. So you have an excellent view of the sports core, the flow rider, the ultimate abyss, and you can look down on the boardwalk. There's a bar, so it's extremely convenient to hang out in this area and grab a drink. You can sit at one of these comfortable chairs or you can relax in the pool over here. This is one of the coolest pools that I've ever seen. It just goes around the back here and it has comfortable chairs and seating. You can grab one of these chairs that are right in the water or you can enjoy the warm whirlpool. Let's head on down to deck eight and tour Central Park. I'm gonna give you a preview. This is the wine bar. After that is Giovanni's Italian restaurant and park cafe. Then the trellis bar. Over here is 150 Central Park and Rising Tide Bar. On the other side is Chops Grill. And all the way through here is the Music Hall. Let's head on back into Central Park. Let's tour Chops Grill. One of my favorites here in Chops Grill is the prime beef joined with a main lobster with grilled branzino and a baked potato. 
Keep in mind that Chops Grill is part of the specialty dining. If you'd like to know the difference between specialty and complimentary, check out the link I have below the description of the video. This is 150 Central Park. Their niche is that all of their dishes are sourced with local ingredients, which is harvested at peak seasons. Central Park consists of thousands of plants throughout the entire area. And a favorite spot here is the trellis bar. Let's take a look at the Park Cafe. This is a favorite among cruisers, but not a lot of people know about it. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it is a delicious spot to enjoy a cup of soup, a roast beef sandwich, a specialty salad, or enjoy a coffee or tea in the morning. Another one of the specialty restaurants on board is Giovanni's Italian Restaurant. Get brick oven handmade pizza, enjoy old Italian favorites, and check this out. They actually make their own pasta. Right next to the Italian restaurant is the wine bar. It's a cozy spot to grab a glass of wine, so head on over. Right past the trellis bar is the Rising Tide Bar. We're going to head on down to deck five and take a look at that in a little bit. This is the music hall. It's one of my favorite venues. Enjoy live rock cover bands who sound like the real thing. They have excellent bands that play throughout the entire cruise, so you'll enjoy all different types of activities and music over here. Let's head on down to the Royal Promenade. I'm gonna give you a preview. This is Spotlight. Right after that is Sorrento's and the English Pub, Cafe Promenade and the Rising Tide Bar, the Bionic Bar. Let's head up a deck. Over here is Schooner Bar. Out here is the Boardwalk. Out on the Boardwalk, you're gonna find the Doghouse and the Carousel, Playmakers, Johnny Rockets, the exit for the Ultimate Abyss and the Aqua Theater. Let's start off at Schooner Bar. This is a place where a lot of people like to come and enjoy the piano music, sing along with the piano player, grab a drink. Over here by the bar, there are comfortable seats where you can look out onto the Royal Promenade and you can look down at the Rising Tide Bar. Across the way is the excursions desk. I recommend that you book your excursions online before you get on the ship because they do sell out. Over here is the photo gallery. This is where you're gonna find the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were on board. Let's take a look at the boardwalk. This space is dedicated to those seaside resorts of New England. A good example would be Coney Island. Over here is the dog house. Another favorite among cruisers. It's complimentary. You can come in and get a wide variety of different types of hot dogs and sausages with all the fixings. Over here is the carousel. Jump on this carousel, go round and round. Kids love it, it's a lot of fun. So make sure you take some good pictures. Over here is Playmakers Sports Bar. A favorite spot among sports viewers. All your games are gonna be on the TVs here. You can play some pool or a couple of video games. There's a nice bar and it has a good view of the boardwalk from here. Over on this side of Playmakers, you can enjoy a game of foosball. Grab a seat at one of these tables. You can see there's wall-to-wall -wall TVs. Over here is Johnny Rockets, a retro-style diner. You can enjoy fresh hamburgers, milkshake, french fries, and keep in mind that everything here is fresh. Nothing is frozen, so these burgers are going to be excellent. Here at the end of the boardwalk, we're going to find the Ultimate Abyss, the Lucky Climber, the Aqua Theater and the Rock Climbing Wall. Here in the Aqua Theater, you're gonna enjoy Olympic level high divers, mesmerizing stunts and aerial acrobatics. Over here on either side of the Aqua Theater are two rock climbing walls. And they're a lot of fun. You gotta climb up and for each level that you achieve, you ring a bell. So when people ring those bells, everyone claps and it's a lot of fun. Let's head on down the Royal Promenade. We're gonna start off with Boleros. This is the Latin nightclub. At night, you're gonna hear everyone having a good time, dancing, live music. It's a lot of fun. They really get the crowd interacting with each other. Another place where you can interact and have a great time is Spotlight Karaoke. Keep your eye out on the activities guide that you're gonna download on your phone because karaoke is happening throughout the entire cruise and if you like it, it's gonna happen right here. There's a Starbucks between Boleros and Karaoke. It's specialty, there is an additional charge, but guys, don't worry about that because there is complimentary coffee all throughout the ship. If you look up right above Starbucks, that is Central Park. Let's take a look at the English pub. 
This is Cork and Copper. Throughout the evening, you're gonna hear a solo live music player. Enjoy many different types of imported beer, such as Heineken or uh, Guinness. And yes, I do realize that Guinness is from Ireland, not England, thank you. Across the hall is Sorrento's Pizza. It's a nighttime favorite, it's open until late. So a lot of people when they get out of the casino after gambling up until late at night or when people get out of the clubs and stop dancing, then they'll come on over here and grab a slice of pizza. Let's take a look at Cafe Promenade. It's right across from Sorrento's. Cafe Promenade is open 24 hours a day. They serve sandwiches, cakes, cookies. You can grab a complimentary coffee or you can get a specialty coffee is what I like to do is usually right before I'm about to get off the ship, I like to grab a sandwich. This is Next Cruise. This is where you can book your Next Cruise while you're on board and they usually give you really good incentives. If you book a cruise at Next Cruise, make sure you give us a call right after you get back and we will hook you up with that special savings. Right here is Rising Tide Bar. This bar either goes up or down. If you're at the promenade, then it'll go up to Central Park. If you're at Central Park, then it will come down to the Royal Promenade. It's nice to ride it down or up while you're enjoying a drink. Over here is guest services. If you have any questions, come on over. They will help you out. This is the Bionic Bar. These machines are going to make a drink for you. All you got to do is swipe your card at the iPad, pick your drink, and these guys are going to shake it up and pour it for you. Let's head on over to the main dining room. The main dining room is humongous. It spans three decks. So which deck are you supposed to go in on? It'll be on your key card. Here's the thing, when you call us, we're gonna help you out and we're gonna plan the dining with you. Now you can either do an early or a late dining, or you can do what I like to do, my time dining. If you do my time dining, you can go in any time that the restaurant is open, usually between 6 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. If you do the regular dining, then you're gonna have to go in at a set time. Let's head on down to deck four. I'm gonna give you a preview. Right here is the attic. Straight ahead is Studio B. If we go through here, this is the art gallery. On the other side of the art gallery is the casino. And if we go all the way through the casino, we're gonna come right to the main dining room that we just took a look at. So let's head on back. Let's take a look at the theater. The theater spans a couple of decks. You're gonna be able to enjoy amazing musicals, magic shows. Sometimes late at night, they'll have the comedy shows in here. Now, if you book an excursion with Royal Caribbean, if you went on the app and pre-planned and booked your excursion through them, then you're most likely going to meet here in the theater really early in the morning, which is what I recommend. Let's take a look at the attic. The attic is the nightclub and comedy club. During the day, there will be entertaining activities and informational seminars. In the early evening, you're gonna enjoy the comedy shows. And then late at night, it's gonna turn into the comedy club. So come on in and get your groove on. Now, if you're going on deck four, from front to back, you're gonna go by the golden room before you hit the casino. This is a smaller part of the casino, is what it is, it's designed for non-smokers. In the big casino, you can smoke. Over here is Studio B. This is the ice skating rink. So you're going to enjoy amazing ice skating shows. You can also ice skate in here on sea days. And then at night sometimes, they'll cover the floor and they'll have live music here with dancing. This is Central Park West. All of these artworks are for sale. Sometimes they're going to auction them off or you can just come in and ask the price. Over here is the casino. Here you can enjoy blackjack, craps, Texas Hold'em. They have a couple of Texas Hold'em tables and on the Oasis class ships, they fill up. So if you like poker, it is a perfect cruise for you because you can play poker every night and sometimes both tables do fill up. If you plan on gambling in the casino, make sure you bring some cash with you. If you use their machine or you get it on your card, there's gonna be an extra fee. Let's head on over to Izumi. This is the Japanese sushi and steakhouse. The tables here are abachi grills, so the chef's gonna cook the food right in front of you. And then over here, you can come over and relax at the sushi bar and get a delicious plate of sushi and sake. Let's head on up two decks. 
We're gonna go toward the front of the ship and take a look at the spa and fitness center. It is a full fitness center, folks. You have treadmills, stair masters, free weights, machines. While you're on board, you're gonna be able to get your exercise in and you can also join one of their classes. Over here is the salon. Ladies, you can get your hair and your nails done before you head on out. After a good night of drinking, you can head on over to the Vitality Cafe and grab yourself a smoothie or a healthy drink to get you going again. Up on deck 12 is Wonderland. This is another specialty restaurant. When you walk in, you're gonna feel like you're in a fairy tale. Because what you have to do here is you're gonna have to brush your menu to be able to see it. You just dip it in the water. And after a few brush strokes, you're gonna be able to see the menu items. The menu is arranged around different elements, such as sun, ice, fire, sea, and earth. It has an excellent view of the boardwalk and it spans two decks. Thank you for joining me on the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.